Welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter, your home for all things relating to smart home technology. In this episode, we will be talking about implementing DOH or DNS over HTTPS on your Peplink B1 or B1 5G systems. Now, this is probably going to work on other Peplink devices. The code level I'm on is 8.4.1. Hi, I'm Ron Nutter, and we're going to be working on this together. This content is also available as an Amazon Flash Briefing or podcast. Please go to techbyteswithronnutter.com for more information. For any items mentioned in this video, there are affiliate links in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you want to get notified when new content is uploaded, please click on subscribe and enable notifications. Here's what we're going to be covering in this particular video, and that's implementing DOH, which is DNS over HTTPS, on your Peplink B1 or B1 5G. Well, first, we're going to discuss what DNS over HTTPS is, because you might not have heard of this. And it's real easy. There's two different standards, but we're going to mostly address the one that we're talking about here, which is DOH. Now, the next thing is I'm going to show you how to implement DOH using Cloudflare. Then we'll talk about implementing DOH using OpenDNS. And lastly, we'll look at implementing DOH using Quad9. Now we're going to talk ab about DOH, or as we've already spelled out, DNS over... HTTPS. Now there is another way of doing this called DOT, and it's, it's DNS over TLS. Two separate ways of doing it. The plus side here on DOH is it uses one port, 443 or HTTPS. DOT, a little more involved, but it just depends on what you're using and how it implements it. But we're going to talk about DOH using the peplink devices. When you send a DNS packet out, you're going to use port 43, 53, I can't say that, and it will either be UDP or TCP. The difference on when you will find those is when it's doing a single record lookup, it's for the brevity of the transaction, it's going to use UDP. If you see TCP being used, that's typically when it's doing a zone transfer or when it's bringing down all the records for a particular domain. So anytime you use this, where there's TCP or UDP, everybody can see what you're, where you're going to. But if we take a DNS packet and we put it in HTTPS... otherwise known as 443, we now have it encrypted. So it will be between you and the DNS servers that are set up to do this. And that's the, that's the whole secret. Basically, we're talking, uh, it's an IP wrapper. You may have heard that term before in other places. And all we're doing is taking an existing packet, wrapping it in 443, which encrypts it and keeps the average person from being able to see what's going on. In this segment, we're going to show you how to set up DNS over HTTPS using Cloudflare. Now, make sure that you're on at least 8.4, and I'm thinking this may be 8.4.1. That's what I'm on, and that's the basis for what we're doing here. So we'll first go over here to the Network tab. Now, to me, when I saw nothing under this, I didn't proceed any further. Well, you kind of have to, because when you click on that, that's when you see DNS over HTTPS. So we'll click on the little pencil icon there. We'll click on Enable, and then the first thing that comes up is Cloudflare. So we'll click on Save, and then Apply Changes. Now, when you're doing any configuration change, if you've seen my other videos, you'll notice I talk about backing up the config before you make the change and then backing it up again after you make the change. I didn't do that here just to save some time. So it's 
you know, your, your discretion how you want to do it, but just might want to err on the side of caution. Now, to test this, and this is the important thing, uh, Cloudflare has an option where you can just go to 1.1.1.1.help and you notice it translated it to 1.1.1 alphabetically. Now, here's what you need to look for. Is, are you configured to talk to Cloudflare? Yes, you are. Right there. Okay. And are you using DNS over HTTPS or DOH? Yes. Are you using DOT? No. Warp? No. Now, Warp, if you haven't heard of it, that's Cloudflare's client. So you can use that. And that's the only time I've seen TLS activated. The And then when you get in down here, for somebody who's worked with BGP, this will mean something to you. It talks about the autonomous system name or how it does the routing, the AS number, that a company can have more than one AS number, and then the, where the nearest Cloudflare, where the nearest Cloudflare data center is. So that's it. Everything you're doing is now the DNS over HTTPS is going to kick in give you a little more privacy. In this segment, we're going to talk about using DNS over HTTPS using, it was OpenDNS, Cisco's bought them, but they've kept the naming out there. So we'll go over here to network, and then we will go down to WAN. We'll go over here to DNS over HTTPS, We'll check the box and then we'll go down here to open DNS. Double check something here. Okay, yeah, open DNS. All right, I wanted to make sure I was looking at the right one. And then we will apply the changes. And then we'll go to the test page. And this is umbrella.cisco.com forward slash doh dash help. And I don't need that on the screen. So congratulations. We're secured in both transit and from online threats. Okay, and they give you some other diagnostic information here that you can copy to the clipboard and it tells where your traffic's coming from. It gets into the flags. Cisco really, to their credit, did a good job with this one that they have gotten a very straightforward page. Gives you some information that... You may not need, but if you're having some problems, it at least helps you get a little further along in the process. And again, with this, like any other change, consider backing up your configuration before you make the change, making the change, testing it to make sure that it looks like it's working right, and then saving it after the change. That way, you, you've got incremental levels of restoring back to your original or your starting configuration before you made this particular change. In this segment, we're going to show how to set up DNS over HTTPS using Quad9. So we'll go to Network, WAN, go down here to DNS over HTTPS and click on the little pencil. And we'll check the box that says Enable. And they'll go down here and say Quad9. Now you've noticed I've talked about Cloudflare, we're not talking about Quad9 and OpenDNS. I am not going to be dealing with showing you how to set up Google DNS because I've tried for a week. I even opened up a ticket with Google DNS asking for diagnostic information, how you could verify it was working properly. Five days later, and I've not heard from them. So if I can't get diagnostic information to know it's working right, then I don't use it. So that's just my personal observation. So we'll click on Quad9. We will click on Apply Changes or Confirm or whatever it's saying. Okay, changes are applied. And let's just... Now, I'm going to show you one thing here. And this is the uh, docs.quad9.net. They have a very substantial how-to on this. And it goes over. You can dig into the block. You can see if there's a hijacked being done of DNS information. It's, they, they really went out of their way. So since I'm on a Mac, 
I'm going to use that option because it, it tells you if you're using Windows or Mac. So I open up a terminal and use dig plus short txt proto.on.quad9.net and it came back with doh period okay let's look up here and when you get doh because that's what we got was just doh okay that says using 443 tcp dns over https so you've got a very nice way it's just a it's not just it's going a little bit more than to a website and if we go over here to windows they have a PowerShell option that is also an option. So you have a Windows way to check it. Basically, Windows, Linux, they've got you covered. So this is now you've seen three different ways of doing DNS over HTTPS. Give this a try. It's just one more layer of keeping people from sniffing what's going on with your DNS. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to see videos on the screen that are similar to the one you've just watched or other content that YouTube thinks you might be interested in. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on the like button, thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.